G'day guys, how you doing? And I'm pretty excited about tonight. Not only do we have uh, clear skies, I am slowly getting around to building the little GTI setup. Now, it's been a long time since I've actually had this mount. I just haven't been able to get around to uh, having available funds to, uh, to spend on it. But that's changed just a little bit. I was able to free up some funds. And uh, as we can see, we've got the little, uh, little GTI all mounted up. I'm actually running the, uh, the ZWO ASI Air Plus um, on this setup here, and it's uh, pretty much, I made a 3D, uh, 3D printed bracket. And it's just sitting on the tripod, like so, all connected up. Um, the power is basically just gonna go straight to the, uh, the ASI Air um, Plus, and then straight up into the mount itself. And the mount can be controlled, um, again, by, by the uh, uh, ASI Air too. So that's, that's pretty cool, and it's, uh, and I'm pretty excited to uh, to see what we uh, what we come up with tonight. Uh, I've got no real plans of what I want to shoot, um, but we are using the uh, the Nikon uh, Z7, which has been Astro modified, and I'm using the Skywatcher um, Esprit 80. Uh, so we're really going to be testing tonight just how well this thing guides because I don't have the uh, the guiding set up just yet. Uh, so I need to I need to wait a little bit before I can uh, free up some funds to to get the guider um, side of things uh, all set up. But uh, yeah, we're we're really going to see how well um, this thing tracks um, overloaded pretty much because as you can see uh, we're uh, a little bit heavy. So I'm I figure this is going to be a good test. Um, and, then, and if anything, well, we might have to bump up the ISO and just shorten the exposures down a little bit. But we'll push it and we'll see what we come up with. Okay, so right now um, we've been all polar aligned up and it's been such a long time since I've used the ASI Air Pro system. It was just so easy to use. I forgot how much fun it is and, and how much of a uh, game changer it was when it first came out. So right now we're all polar aligned, which I'm quite surprised that went well with the Z7 and such a high megapixel camera. Um, I thought there was gonna be some sort of lock up between taking a shot, um, having to pol uh, play solve it, taking another shot. But that went pretty smoothly. It took me about 15 minutes, purely because of the size of the, the, uh, the uh, um, sensor and the megapixels and everything else like that but um, we're all done there and now we are just uh, trying out our target for tonight and that is the tarantula nebula why not huh why not shoot the tarantula nebula and make everyone in the northern hemisphere a little bit jealous so uh, yeah we're uh, I've shot a 60 second exposure that looks pretty good I've shot a 120 second exposure and that looks pretty good so now we're going for 180 seconds and it should be finished soon. So fingers crossed uh, that there goes well. And if so, I'm going to start the imaging session up. We're going to be shooting about ISO 800. Um, around that, uh, that three minute exposure mark, I think would be pretty good for a unguided, um, slightly overweight GTI to just see just how well this thing performs. All right, I've just seen the 180 second exposure. And before we get started, I'm pretty damn impressed. I mean, this is no guiding whatsoever, just polar alignment with the ASI Air system. Um, and no trails. I don't know if you can see that, but there's no trails at the start of the pinpoint. Um, so let's hope I'm not jinxing myself and the session goes well and this thing just becomes a remarkable little uh, go-to system. I mean, if I get that good at tracking with three minute exposures on the Z7, I mean, I don't even know if I'm going to bother with a uh, a little guiding setup, to be honest. I mean, it'd be nice to have it just for dithering. Um, but, I mean, if you're getting into Astro and you're really on a budget, I think I would advise this sort of setup right here, an ASI Air um, system with your Star Adventure GTI, your DSLR or your mirrorless camera and if you can't afford the scope go for a lens you know and uh, and just get shooting so much fun.
All right, guys. So we're going to uh, finish up tonight's uh, session. I am amazed at how well this city is guided throughout the night. Um, 180 second exposures. I've captured uh, about a hundred. I think it was just over a hundred frames um, tonight. So I, I I think this is going to be a fun little mount to uh, just quickly set up and uh, and start imaging with. Um, it definitely fills the gap of being a uh, a grab and go uh, style of setup. Now, I do need to uh, return the um, 80 millimeter uh, esprit at some point. So, what refractor or lens do you think I should um, uh, get to marry up with the Z7 on a little GTI? I'll leave that up to you guys in the comments below. All right. Well, I'm getting pretty tired. I better start packing up. There is clouds meant to be forecasting to come through, as well as some rain real early hours in the morning, so I can't really leave this gear set up overnight. If you've uh, enjoyed this uh, video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you've got any questions, leave a comment below. And if this is uh, the very first video you've seen, please check out some of my others and don't forget to subscribe. All right, while that's shooting some darks, I'm off uh, to start packing up. Till next time, guys. See ya. G'day everyone, Steve here, and I just want to take this moment to uh, thank you all for your support in uh, subscribing and following my journey and my imaging session with the twin. I also like to quickly uh, shout out to uh, all my members as well that um, uh, support my channel uh, via other means. So uh, thank you very much to everyone who uh, takes the time in uh, watching my content, and I look forward to producing more content in the future and more images and more journeys with the twins. See you.